Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss any of my Halloween tutorials. Today's look is inspired by one of the best Halloween movies of all time, Disney's Hocus Pocus. It was filmed in 1993 and the story is set in Salem, Massachusetts. The plot is centered around the Sanderson sisters who were resurrected by a teenage boy, otherwise known as Max. Throughout the movie, Max, Thora, and Vanessa fight to defeat these witches and banish them back. Today's look is inspired by one of the Sanderson Sanderson sisters, Sarah Sanderson, who is played by Sarah Jessica Parker. Sarah loves looking young, beautiful, singing, talking to boys, and she's hilarious. I am beautiful. Boys will love me. Over the years, the film has reached its cult status and has been featured numerously on ABC Family's 13 Nights of Halloween. There was a full-length book written about the movie, events such as Hocus Pocus The Villain Spectacular was held at Magic Kingdom in 2015, and to top it all off, this year Disney has been considering a sequel to the film and hopes to continue the series. I love watching this movie, especially around this time of year, and Sarah Sanderson is my favorite Sanderson sister. If you would like to know how to get my Sarah Sanderson look, then please keep on watching. Alright, so to start this look, we're going to be priming our skin, and I am using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is going to prime the skin for foundation, but also protect the skin and make our complexion look really good. For foundation, I'm just using my normal foundation I use every day, and I am mixing it with a white foundation, and this is called Dream Tone by Manic Panic, and it's in the shade Vampire White. What I did was I just mixed the two together, and I applied it to my face and just blend it out, and this will give me a nice pale complexion, just like Sarah Sanderson. After I've applied the foundation, I'm going to go in and create the same color on my body. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the Mayron Paradise paint and I added quite a bit of water to it to get it nice and liquidy and I then just applied it to my neck and also my arms. If you're wearing this costume out for Halloween, you're going to want to cover any areas that are exposing skin. So that's just what I did and this worked really well. I am quite tan right now, so this made me very pale and very similar to what her complexion is. To conceal under the eyes, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair and I'm I'm just going to highlight all around the face. I highlighted underneath the eyes as well as the forehead, the chin, and also the nose. And this shade matches really well with the foundation and really highlights the face. So next I'm going in with the MAC Shivering White Face Powder just to set underneath those eyes. This is super brightening and just very, very white, which is great for our complexion today. I also like to take this on a very big brush and set the rest of the face with this as well. So I noticed her brows were pretty dark for her hair being so blonde and platinum, so I'm going to use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I really love this, and I'm just going to comb the color through the hairs of my brows, and then brush through with a spoolie. This is in shade 4, so it is pretty dark against our pale skin and our blonde hair, but it looks a lot like what she had going on. And to set the brows, I always like using a brow gel just to keep them in place, and I'm using the Ready Set Brow by Benefit, and just combing the hairs up and away. Before we get started on the eyes, be sure to prime and set your lids so your shadows show up and stay on all night if you're going out for Halloween. Taking a taupe brown from the Morphe 35K palette, I'm going to lightly blend this into the crease area. Taking the Make It Beak Spectrum Liner in Obsidian, I'm going to line my entire eye with this liner all around and smoke out with a black shadow for a very smoky look. Taking a dark brown, I'm going to go over that black and smoke out even further, and I'm also going to take a bit of the dark brown and apply this to the lid area. Next going back into the Morphe 35K, I'm taking that taupe brown I used first, and I'm going to apply this back into the crease and blend upwards. Taking a beautiful champagne, I'm going to go into the brow bone and tap this right in for a nice highlight, and I'm also going to take this into the inner tear duct area for an inner corner highlight. Taking the black shadow, I'm going to go back in and smoke out even further by applying this to the lid and also the lower lash line and just blending out. Next, you want to apply some mascara and your favorite false lashes. I am using the Tarte Lashes in the style Goddess. And this is the final Sarah Sanderson eye look. Sarah Sanderson didn't have a very harsh contour, so I'm going to go in with something that's very gray-based that will look really good with our pale skin, and I'm just going to apply this into the hollows of the cheeks as well as the forehead area, and this is a great shade to use as a nose contour as well, so I'm just going to go in with that and define my nose. 
To highlight the nose, I am using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Ice Cold Skin Frost, and this is the lightest highlighter that I own, and it looks really, really good with our complexion today. So I'm just applying that to the nose, as well as the cheekbones, and also the center of the forehead. Going back into the Lunatic Labs Cosmetics Contour Palette, I'm taking a much deeper purpley mauve shade than what we used before for our contour, and I'm just applying this right over the top, just for more definition. So for lips, I was looking for a lip color that looked exactly like the one she was wearing in the movie, and to me, the Ofra Cosmetics Havana Nights Liquid Lipstick is perfect. It just looks so much like the deep red shade that she was wearing. Sarah has a beauty mark on her chin, so I'm using a brown eyeliner just to dot in a beauty mark right on the right side of my chin. So if you're a brunette like me and you're dressing up as Sarah Sanderson for Halloween, you're going to want to wear a wig. So pick up a platinum wig, something that's very, very light, bleach blonde, just like her hair in the movie. And this wig has the same style to it. It kind of waves a little bit, just like her hair. And she has a side part, so if you pull the wig over to the side and let the hair hang into your face, it will look a lot like her hair. All right, beauties, this is my final look on Sarah Sanderson from the classic Halloween movie, Hocus Pocus. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends who love this movie. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.